Hello, welcome back. We're going to take a look today at the cause of all illness. All of it. But nothing more, nothing less than the cause of all illness. The cause of all illness is our arresting our thought. It's our own limitations that we place on ourselves. We cause all illness ourselves when we equate ourselves with the physical body and stop there. When we think this is who we are and what we are, and we don't go beyond that, that causes all illness. All of it. <laughs> the end. <laughs> So that's the cause of all illness, but of course there is plenty more to be said, so let's do that. We're wrapping up this very, very important section of the text of A Course in Miracles. In fact, every section is important. It's equal. They're all equally important. But we've spent a lot of time on this particular one, chapter 8, section 7 of the text, the body as a means of communication, because we identify with the physical body and equate ourselves with the physical body. Yet deep down, we know that we're not a physical body. And this course clarifies that for us in no uncertain terms. You are not a body. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me, with the rhyme scheme deliberately placed to stick in your mind. That, by the way, is lessons 220, or, uh, 201, excuse me, through 220, 20 consecutive lessons in the workbook for students. So, Clearly, Jesus intends for us to get this, to accept that it is true, and deep down we all know that it's true. You know that it's true. It is this very thought, this very call that we all hear, whether we were consciously aware of it at the time we heard it or not. But we have all thought at some point there's got to be more to it than just this 80% sack of water. And of course there is, of course there is. You've answered the call by embarking on what we call the spiritual path. Whatever that may look like, whether you practice this course solely or in conjunction with something else, or whether you are an adherent of one of the world's traditional religions, makes no difference. This course is universal. And here you are. So let me clarify what you already know. You are not a physical body. It's not the Son of God. The Son of God doesn't last 80 to 90 years if he or she is really fortunate. Could be a lot less than that, as we all know. The physical body is a limitation that we've slapped on ourselves. However, however, and this is something we've talked about in previous videos here, we have the choice to use the body for extending love, for communicating love, the love of God, communicating with our brother, extending the miracle of true forgiveness, extending love, sharing the Holy Spirit with our brother. That is the only useful purpose of the body. It's useful in the sense that it teaches us that we're not a body. This course operates on the mind. It is not concerned with weight loss. It is not concerned with getting a, a new fancy car to make the physical body look cool. It's not concerned with increasing the number of digits in your bank account to make the physical body look cool. It, it's not about that. This course is a course in mind training. 
If that doesn't sound exciting in and of itself to you, well, I get that, but think about what this really is. We don't see things as they are. When we see ourselves as limited by this device, we're not seeing ourselves as we really are. We're not seeing our brother as he really is. We're not seeing anything as it really is. So what we're doing with this course, with this material, is we're learning to perceive truly. We're learning to see things as they are, rather than the way that we have made them, which clearly hasn't made us eternally happy. I don't care how wealthy you are, or what kind of shape you're in, or how well you love your career. None of that is the peace of God. The peace of God is eternal. It's limitlessness, and it does not change. Everything that changes, therefore, is illusion. Only God is. All else is illusion. Which, by the way, includes this. It includes everything. The entire world. Illusion. Space. Definitely an illusion. Time. Yeah, we made that up. That's an illusion. They're separation devices. Anything that changes energy is an illusion. There are many, many people who are fond of saying that everything is energy. No. Nothing that transforms or changes shape in any way is real. So, if you're just joining us for the first time, there are many different possible reactions to hearing the simplicity and the certainty of these teachings. One might be to jump for joy, and I hope that you are having that experience. This material can serve as a deep confirmation and a relief for people. And it's also likely, and at some points on the path, it's highly likely that you're going to get some stern resistance. You're going to think that this image on your screen is not. Ah, it's, it's an image on your screen. You have the choice to run off and hide you have the choice to turn this or any spiritual themed recording off and think that all of spirituality is a complete waste of your life. But you have that choice. Understand that if that's coming up for you, it is the ego talking to you that wants to preserve itself. And you know what? It is nothing. You're perfectly at home in God, having never left. There is a very well-known passage from A Course in Miracles that I often quote here on these videos. Here it comes again. Ideas leave not their source. What this means is that thoughts remain in the mind of the thinker, and you're the thought of God. Where are you? Yeah, there's no separation of any kind. What are you? Who are you? When we say that we're one with God, that is literal. So here in the world, we cannot hopefully expect the ego that we've identified with to just accept this. Yet, this is exactly what we're invited to do, is allow truth 
to be just as it is. It seems to take time, and this is what time is for. So if you're experiencing resistance, this is a path in this case. We're really not going anywhere, but here when we appear to be a human body, an individual self-sustaining survival unit, this awakening process seems to take time. So be it. We all have a choice right now in the present moment as to whether we follow our inner teacher, the Holy Spirit, or whether we follow the ego and continue to see ourselves as cut off from our brothers, separate and in competition for what we deem to be scarce and limited resources that we've decided are scarce and limited. There are no limitations of any kind, and you're unlimited. You're the son of God. You're unlimited. The cause of all illness is our thinking that we're limited and stopping. The mind naturally extends. The mind naturally extends, and when we stop that, we are sick. That is the cause of illness. That is the cause of sickness. It's not of the body. Remember, you're not a body. It's in the mind. So what we do is we change our mind. Everything else changes. The body is in effect. It's not the cause. Mind is the cause. Mind is the cause. The body is an effect. In other words, it's nothing. So while we appear to be here, we give it over to our inner teacher and we extend love to the Son of God. We forgive. We share our inner teacher with our brother. That's what we do. And in this process, we realize that these teachings are true. How do we know? Well, you don't have to take it from this image on your screen. Take it from your own experience, really, and prove it to yourself. Your experience will prove it to you. But first, you must do it. I can't make you do anything. Jesus can't make you do anything. He does not force. The Holy Spirit does not force. You've got to do this yourself. So the question for each and every one of us then becomes, what do we really want? Do we want the peace of God? Or do we want more of the same suffering? It, that's the decision. When we follow the guidance of our inner teacher, that helps us clarify our perception so that we may know God. We have to clarify our perception before we wake up. It's a prerequisite, which means forgive, forgive, forgive. Change your mind, change your mind, change your mind. When we see ourselves as an ego, we're stopping the mind's natural flow, so to speak. It's natural extension. We're cramping its style, if you want to see it that way, and it makes us sick. Now, let's say a couple more things about the physical body and illness, because all of our medicine in the modern world, unless you're practicing some very, very, well, non-traditional forms of medicine. Everything that we see is treating the symptom, not the cause. It's treating the symptom, not the cause, which is mind. So this course treats the cause, mind. The result follows. Now, this is not to say that just because you're watching this video, you're going to magically cure a chronic illness. Nobody is saying that. 
And when you really think about it in terms of the teachings of this course, which is what this video series is about, A Course in Miracles, curing a chronic illness or some aches and pains is not actually the point, is it? That may, however, happen along the way. But there is no guarantee that if you have a, a chronic condition, such as a, a heart disease or, or cancer or, or something really, really ongoing and chronic and possibly life-threatening, right? there's no guarantee that your mind training will clear that up for you in this lifetime. It may happen as a result, but the point is for you to heal the mind. This course, again, is rightly seen as a course in mind training where we change our mind. The mind is where healing is needed. So this is where we heal. You've never left your source and you're one with God. Again, it's not required that you believe that right now. You don't have to. We're all free to do whatever we wish. So, to the extent that you've tuned in to the end, I invite you to think about why. Right? There's something that has been said here that has resonated with you, and it is your inner teacher speaking to you. Our inner teacher always has a message for us. We need simply to be willing to listen. So what is your message from this discussion today? If you're not clear, ask. Ask your inner teacher. And also, if you have questions that you'd like to leave here in the comments here on YouTube, feel welcome to do that too. This is intended to be a place to discuss our spirituality and the study and practice of this course in particular, because there are days, you know, I've had them, they happen. There are days where it raises more questions than it answers, right? So to the extent that that's going on for you, please feel welcome to leave questions if you've got them. And if you have not joined us yet, we'd love to have you. Here is the subscription button. Go ahead and click this arrow here in the corner of your screen and subscribe. And we would love to have you. These videos appear several times a week. If you have comments or questions, please leave them here. And understand, as we wrap up this section of the text, that you're not a body. 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 